Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and I'm a cash chef here on YouTube. I am a waitress, so I'm going to be stuffing my cash tips and then my hourly. So I have my breakdown here. So I worked Tuesday night. I worked like four hours. Um, in, in cash, I made $183 and then I was owed $83. On Thursday, I worked a party. It was a wedding rehearsal. So I worked like four hours also for that that, that shift. And it was $331 owed to me. So that'll be on next week's paycheck. Saturday, I worked a dinner shift. I worked 5 to 10. So it was 5 hours. And I made $2.59 in cash. And then Sunday, I ended up not going to work because my dad was visiting from North Carolina. And my boss let me take the day off. So I spent the day with him and Adrian and my dad's side of the family. So that was nice. When I saw how much cash I had, plus like my paycheck, I was like, eh. Like I can I can do without going to work on Sunday. And it was supposed to rain, so they were calling people out anyways. The whole week I made eight fifty six between cash and credit cards, just like in tips in general. Cash I made four forty two. Credit cards I made four fourteen. And the total of like the whole week of tips, I made eight hundred and fifty six dollars and oh I didn't do the math. Damn. I'm sorry guys. Um I'll try to like insert it into the screen because I don't have my calculator and I have my phone recording. But whatever 856 divided by 13 is that's how much hourly i made and then what i'm actually stuffing for today is the cash that i made which was 442 and my paycheck which is 346 which is a total of 788 788 to stuff um i was with my dad on saturday morning we got breakfast and he gave me 100 dollars and he gave adrian like 20 dollars. so that's in his envelope um and then i saw him again on sunday which was unexpected because like i said i didn't know if i was gonna be able to get the day off and so my dad gave me another hundred dollars so the first hundred dollars my dad gave me i was driving a lot that week um because i just was going like all over the place so i put fifty dollars of the money he gave me into my gas tank and then the other fifty dollars that my dad gave me I put it towards my mortgage because I messed it up last week. Um, it's supposed to be four fifty five a week for nine ten bi weekly, and I only saw four oh five, which was my paycheck. So then I realized it after, and um, th so the money just kind of came in <clears throat> like perfect timing. And then on Sunday, my dad gave me another hundred dollars, which I have here. Um, I have my paycheck here too, and a placeholder because I thought I lost that, and some singles that I had from paying in cash. But this hundred dollars, I'm just gonna put right into my buffer because I had already done all my breakdown on Saturday night. So um, I actually did change some stuff because when I was going over my expenses like for the week, I realized that I needed to add like a books, um, if you can see a books envelope because I have just been spending so much money on books and I don't want to have unbudgeted expenses. So I just had to rearrange some things because um, I already have money in these envelopes. So I just, you know, think some things were more priority than others. I just didn't want to have to... <clears throat> use my buffer to pay back my credit card so that's why the changes were um all right so for singles i have i had seven dollars but then i have another three dollars i don't even know actually where this money came from but all right so All right, so I'm going to stuff this first. And this is my singles savings challenge. Um, all right, so I don't have any AAs for Adrian. I had one B, I think. Yeah, one B for books. So I have my second C for car maintenance. This has been since like uh, January that I've been stuffing this. And it's the only second C I've found. Uh, D is getting two Ds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. Our E, I think, was just 1, which is for electronics. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, I might actually use this money to buy a wire because um, when my dad came to visit, we were in his rental and I left my wire in his freaking car. So I'm going to see if he's coming back this weekend, then I won't buy one. But if he's not, then I need it for my Apple CarPlay um, because <clears throat> I need like a USB. I have the newer iPhone, so I need like the USB connection. 
for future i have two f's and this is for my roth ira so i'm putting in two f's so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. All right, and then G is for gifts. So I'm putting one in. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight. Um, each is for household, for like kind of like household items around the house. So I have two plus one is three. I am not curious what is in here. Probably like a couple dollars. Yeah. All right. So L has a bunch. So I have one going in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars. And this one has no category, so I cannot think of anything like to do with this category, but I'm sure it'll come to me. All right, so there's that. And um, next, I'm going to do like this binder, which is my has my mortgage and my utilities and my buffer. So there's the $50 that my dad gave me and then the paycheck, which was $405, and then plus my money my dad gave me. So then I have my I have my other paycheck here. So this was $346. So we're gonna say like $345. And then I'm gonna have to put in $110 to make up the difference of the $455. So $110. All right, and I have to actually pay this this week. Um, it's due Friday, so I have to take this out anyways. Um, utilities, I am putting in forty dollars. Oh, I don't have. I don't change. Um, let me see. I might have in my buffer. All right, actually, now that I'm here, I'm just gonna put the hundred dollars that my dad gave me into here. So we'll count buffer real quick. So I have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred and fifty. <clears throat> and someone did say to um, keep saving up till I have like enough money for like my mortgage but i do also have in addition to like my buffer i have um uh what's it called like a rainy day fund on emergency savings so i have like three thousand dollars saved um in ally so i'm not like really worried about like if i had to pay my mortgage um during like my slow months just because of that so i have a hundred and then i'm putting in 40 for utilities um yeah so i'm not really worried about that just because like i have more money saved and then i have i mean in my savings account come like completely have like you know a good chunk of money so not really too concerned about that so that's why i'm like not sure about the buffer um i think i might just leave it like <clears throat> at like a thousand and then keep like re putting money into it like if i have to pull out um so for home maintenance i am putting in twenty dollars And this is just for like, I don't know, random home stuff. I've used this envelope for so many different things. Um, in the winter for snow plowing. In the summer, I've used it for mowing my lawn. But I fixed my lawnmower so I shouldn't have to be paying anyone. Um, just whatever I really need it for. It could even be for like, I don't know, like home decor, whatever I really need. Uh, beauty, I am putting in $10. Let me see what I can do here. I think... If I take out the 50 and put in 60, it'll make the right amount. It's 50, 70, 90. Yeah, that's right. Um, or if I take out the 40s and put in a 50, actually, that'll be 100. Was that right? 50, 70, 90, 100. Yeah. Jesus. All right. So I lowered this amount because I don't, I'm not going to get my nails done until next week. So even if I go to pedic for a pedicure before, I'll still have the money. Um, but my nails are like not crazy, crazy grown out. I always do like natural kind of colors so that way it doesn't look like super intensely different um all right for toiletries i think i'm skipping that yes and for clothing i am putting in 25 dollars So there's a $50 bill plus $25.75. And I did buy a bunch of stuff that I bought this ring. Um, 
in the town where my mom lives, there's like just a lot, like it's a huge strip of like random little like antique shops and stuff like that. That's where I went to breakfast with my dad on Saturday. So when me and Adrian were walking back to my car, um, I just stopped in because I wanted a new ring and I found this one and I love it. It's like navy blue, but it's so pretty. And then I got this one too from Amazon and it was like $25, I think. This one was $30. Um, this is from like Disney from uh, Epcot, the Mexico um i don't know there's like a person there that makes this jewelry and then this i got from marshall's but um i, I just wanted a new ring and i love it so um yeah i mean it's not clothing but it's fine uh for adrian i am putting in 15 and like i said i put some money in here that my dad gave me but i also had to pull money out because adrian had a haircut um so i took some money out of beauty and some money out of here because his haircut is 55 dollars with tip so um, all right, so clothing, I mean, Adrian is getting 15, so I have to take out a five and put it in a 20. All right, so he has 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. And I don't know if I noticed, um, if I mentioned this last week, but Adrian's obsessed with Abraham Lincoln and like the civil rights movement. So that's why I keep trying to put like the crispy vibes in there for him, um, because he just like loves Abraham Lincoln. So all right put that in back wait how much do i have i don't know 20 35 45 55 60 all right and then i have to use like 30 dollars of this to pay myself back for a uh like a net i bought him for soccer so because he likes to play in the backyard so i bought him a net um the dogs are getting a nothing this is one of the ones i like went down on even though I think I'm going to put $20 and lower my gas because since I just put $50 because my dad gave me that money, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. Let me just rewrite this um, because I'm not going to need $50, $60 for gas this week because that's way too much. Um, just because I just filled it up Saturday and I still have a lot of gas. All right. So the dogs have 70 now. And then it's my new envelope for books. I just have these from like a project Adrian had done. Oops. So yeah. All right. I'm going to put in... $30 this week, which I don't have change. So let me see if I can find change. Um, so I'll come back to this one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do nope. Alright, so it's my savings challenge binder. Okay, so this is my sister's envelope. And I found some I knew I had some more hundred dollar placeholders, so I was like wait a second so this is from willow willow's horror shop and it's a hundred dollar bill so it's ghost on it so i'm gonna put this in and um take out this 50 because i need to put that back to the bank so all right and then i'll switch these because i needed the change from before and put this so this is going back to the bank for eight for my sister um so she yeah i had mentioned last week that i had 50 dollars more in here but i have a placeholder so now i have 200 dollars um in my envelope for my sister and i am putting in today ten dollars ten dollars is going in and here are my placeholders oh yeah the ten dollars hello all right so we have 210 for my sister this is her 18th birthday which is next may just past her birthday so hopefully this fits So that looks actually cute. All right. So for Gigi's, this is budget with Gigi Savings Challenge. So go check her out on Etsy or her YouTube or Instagram. Um, so I'm putting in five. So I'm going to take out this five. Oh, no, no, no. I have to put in the other five. Okay. So uh, I have 30. <laughs> All right. And let me just color this in real quick. So this doesn't have any real purpose yet, but I am just going to keep filling it out and um honestly every time i've done a little savings challenge like this it's only 150 so um it's always helped me out um in any little time i've needed it so for halloween i'm just putting in ten dollars as well so i'm going to take out these two fives and put in a 20 and color in another ghost face and this is from spooky budgets <clears throat> all right so this is for halloween and at 20 dollars so hopefully we can fill this up a little bit more next time because that's depressing that's not a lot of money for me for halloween um but honestly i have so much stuff that i probably shouldn't even buy anything any anymore but all right so the rest of my money is gonna be for food and for gas so let's see what we have left i mean there's way too much money left 
did I ever oh I didn't put the money in for books that's why okay so I have 25 30 for books and then 100 yeah this is right so 100 dollars is going to be for food and then 40 dollars for gas for this week and we put those 30 dollars in for books um and I need to try and control myself because I cannot be spending this much money on books every week I actually spent more than this um because I went to a used bookstore but they took cash only so I took it out of my money um I think that I had from my I don't even know where I had the money from, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, the book, used books are though so worth it. Like the books are like a newer book was like five dollars, and then older books that Adrian got were like two, two dollars, one dollar. So um, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but anyways, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.